Hey, today I want to show you a little about indexing and the ability to create some form pieces without having to actually drag and drop them. Well, the first thing I do is drag and drop a button, but that's about all I'm going to drag and drop. So I'm going to double click this button to get some form text here, some code for the button. And now the first thing I want to do is I want to make some combo boxes. So to do this, I'm going to make a lot of them too. So I'm going to say, I'm defining, let's see, combos. And I want to make like 20 of these guys as uh, system.windows.forms.combo box. So there we are. Now we've defined them, we have to have them be made. Now I could go through each one of these guys and define each of their attributes, each 20. But if I wanted 21, I'd have to do it over again. If I wanted 22, I'd have to do it over again. So this is what indexing is. Indexing is making a piece of logic that will say, this is your I. I is my index. And for each time I happens, end up to the length of combos dot length minus one. I'm going to loop here. So for the variable i, which starts at zero, to the length of how many combos I want, and then it loops all the code between here and there. Now, how is the loop going to help me? I'll show you. So what we want to do now is we want to define our combo boxes. All the variables we want for those. So like combos i, and i being a piece of the array, and i increments every scan that comes down here. So the first scan is going to start at 0 and end at, well, 20 if you will. So now combo box dot dot i equals new windows dot forms dot combo box. So there we are. Now we defined what it is. There's a couple more things we got to do to make the combo box appear. And that is combos.i equals, actually it's dot parent equals me. And that basically says this form is the parent of these combo boxes. Next thing we got to do is define their uh, location because the location is going to change each time the uh, each for each combo box, well, at least we want it to. If it doesn't, they're all going to appear over each other in the same location. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is use the index. It can be used multiple times in multiple abilities. I'm going to say the index times 25. So the first index is going to be zero, and therefore it's going to start at zero zero because i times i being zero times 25 is going to be zero. Now the next one's going to be 1, so it's going to start at 0, 25. Then it's going to start, and then the next one after that's going to be 0, 50, and you get the hint. So finally, I want to say combo i dot text equals robomatics. Oh yeah. Now with this, I can hit the play button. Nothing's going to happen until I hit my button, and bam, there we are. There is 20 combo boxes that say Robomatics. Now, let's have a little more fun with this. We can uh, put that to 10. Now we can go like combos, and we can give them all like uh, stuff inside of them. I forget what that's called, but I think it's like items.add. I think I can do like uh, Robo. I find Robot. Can't see the type right. Okay. Click play, hit that, and now, aha, I should have robot as a drop down menu for all of these. So there we are, and I now should only have 10 of them, so I don't have to redo my code for every time for every one. And that's indexing and how to make your own piece of code or piece of design, you know, these form things that pop up, like a button or a combo box or a picture box or a radio button or any of the above. I mean, the list is right here. You know, all these stinking items you just have, you know, at your fingertips to make as many as you want of them. 
have fun with that.